Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and here I have the Nectar Vigne, an incredible fruit with the most unique history. When you look at the Nectar Vigne, you could think, well, that either it's a strange nectarine, or even some sort of pluot, some plum apricot or plum peach hybrid. But no, it is a hybrid, but a hybrid just within the species Prunus persica. So no plum or apricot involved. <clears throat> and it's a hybrid with an incredible history. The history starts 250 years ago in Lyon in France. In France. Well, French, what do French like? Wine. And Lyon, like most areas of France, has a lot of vineyards. And those vineyards are prone to fungal disease, like vineyards in, or in other areas of the world. And the white growers of Lyon came up with an incredibly ingenious idea. Peaches are even more prone to those fungal diseases. So if you plant a peach in your vineyard, the fungus will go on the peach first. And you can find out that there is fungus in the vineyard if you are watching the peaches closely because they'll get trouble before the grapevines get trouble. So they planted a small, a small fruited peach variety called the Lyonese vineyard peach in their vineyards. And of course, since they planted it and it had fruit, they ate the fruit. They are peaches after all. I don't know why those vineyard peaches were very small and fuzzy and at first they were not very tasty. They were always very aromatic. Very aromatic for peaches. White fleshed, small, very fuzzy and very aromatic. But not very tasty. Those peaches developed antioxidants. I don't know exactly why. Wikipedia or some other website say in order to protect themselves, well, to protect themselves from what? From, from the sun, from frost, even from animals, I don't know. But the fruit, and especially the inside of the fruit, turned blood red, even more red than those nectar videos here. And then with time, the French, because they wanted better peaches even in their vineyards, they managed to breed a variety of peach, which is called the uh, Lyonnaise uh, blood peach or vineyard peach. And which is being marketed nowadays. The peaches are similar to those seedling peaches you get always when you drop a seed somewhere and the tree grows out of it. Actually, I had some very successful peach trees grown like this. The fruit are small, fuzzy, white fleshed, mealy, but extremely aromatic, so quite good. But, yeah, well, they have a lot of disadvantages, being small, being mealy, and most important of all, being fuzzy. But we have a solution to that, folks. We have had for thousands of years the peach without fuss, the nectarine, which we can basically cross with all the other interesting peach varieties, like flat peaches, or, well, white peaches, or golden peaches, you get flat nectarines, white nectarines, golden nectarines. And so somebody crossed it with a blood peach or with a red vineyard peach and created the nectar vigne. The name is, a, is an homage to the, well, to the parents. It sounds like nectarine and vigne means grapevine in French. So... It's a cross between the nectarine and the grapevine peach, the peach that protects the grapevines. Well, what did it get from both parents, from the nectarine? It got the smooth skin. I totally approve of that. I much prefer smooth nectarines to fuzzy peaches. Well, it seems to have been a cross with the white nectarine, since it also got the white flesh. From the... Well, the whitish flesh 
From the blood peach, it got, of course, most importantly, the red tinted flesh, which is not as red as in the blood peach. So it's a mixture of typical white peach slash nectarine flesh, not the yellow one, not the golden one, and the red flesh of the red or of the blood peach. Well, what else it got from the blood peach is the flavor. They are more aromatic than normal nectarines. But unfortunately, also the mealiness. I found different accounts of the taste. Websites which try to sell this plant say it's far superior. And of course, the color is great. The antioxidants is, uh, are great. But also it's a juicy, sweet, aromatic fruit. However, other websites, they warn that it's mealy. Not very sweet, yes, it is very aromatic, that's good, it's very colorful, that's good, but it's above all mealy and not very sweet and inferior to most other um, peach or nectarine varieties. It sounds a little bit like those golden peaches. Every time I try golden peaches, they are not mealy, but they are tough like rubber and have no sweetness at all. So the nectarvinia and the vineyard peach seem to be something similar. Beautiful flesh, beautiful skin, but mealy. Well, let's try them. I cut open two fruits. This is actually, yeah, uh, this half and this half, they are of different fruits. So let's try this one first. Ah, by the way, something very interesting. The, the seeds were a lot more red when I, uh, when I uh, popped open the fruit and now the redness, yeah, my phone shows the redness more bright than it's than I see it now, but it paled in the last 15 minutes or so. Well, also the flesh maybe got a little bit more discolored than before, but most noteworthy, the redness of the seed got less. Okay, let's try them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> There is some flavor. Mm. There is some flavor, but I find that some important notes are missing. Some important peach notes, which are in the best peach varieties. But yeah, the flavor is superior to a lot of peach varieties. However, the fruit is indeed slightly mealy. Not as mealy. As most seedling peaches. But almost as mealy. And of course, the lack of the abundant peach fuss on the, on the seedling peaches is also a plus. Hmm. But yeah, lack of sweetness is a minus and especially The mealiness is the biggest problem here. Well, yeah, I mean, this fruit is grown only in France as a sort of heritage fruit or local or local uh, variety. I found some day, some numbers from Wikipedia. They're from 2007, so already quite old, but it said that back then, only 700 tons were produced worldwide, and worldwide means only in France. So, I don't think that it's going to replace either peaches or nectarines soon. It's an interesting fruit, one of those novelty fruit. Very expensive, three times as expensive, more than three times as expensive um, as the cheapest peaches and nectarines they sell nowadays. Then you find a lot of peaches or nectarines for two euro a kilogram and those were seven euro a kilogram so three and a half times more expensive and the taste definitely does not justify this it's the novelty like you will buy it once you will maybe buy it twice but you will not buy it regularly one of those novelty fruits so yeah what can i say final verdict yeah it's an interesting fruit if you see it somewhere buy it but don't Trust people who tell you that it uh, has um, that it's a unique taste experience. Yeah, the flavor and the 
and the red flesh of the vineyard peach combined with the smoothness of the nectary. Yeah, it's a good combination, but if you are into sweet fruit, yeah, and if you want a good, uh, a, a, a good balance between uh, sweet and sour, just try some yellow flesh nectarines if you want some um, more flavor rich um, varieties. Just try some white flesh nectarines. The nectar vini, yeah, although an interesting fruit, it's it's not gonna be the big breakthrough on the peach and nectarine market. It's not gonna be the nectarine of the future. It's just a small niche product which is interesting and it's also a, a good reason to tell the amazing history of the Nectavidia. So folks, this was the Nectavidia, the descendant of the protector of the vineyards. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful grocery shops of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.